Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Paint and Sip class. This class is actually going to be our last online Paint and Sip class and this week we are going to be painting a flamingo. Flamingos are actually one of my favourite things to paint and uh, when I was like three years old I painted hundreds of flamingos. I was pretty much just obsessed with them. Um, hope you all had a lovely week. Um, for me, been packing up. I'm going to be coming to Brisbane tomorrow and staying at STS Backpackers. So if you do see me, come and say hi. All right, let's get started. Okay, everyone. So we're going to start off by drawing the flamingo's shoulder, just at the corner, and then we're going to draw its neck. We'll pause there. Now we're going to go in and draw its beak, its eye, and its beak details. And we'll take a pause there. Now we're going to mix up the shades of the flamingo. So you get your white, your red, and a bit of yellow. And we're going to make it go, go from dark to light and create a nice little selection of colours there. We'll take a pause there for you guys to mix up your colours. Now we're going to go in with our lightest pink and we're going to go in at the top of a flamingo's head, in the middle of its neck and its shoulder. Put it on quite thickly because we're going to blend it all through. And pause there. Now we're going to go in with our darker pink and we're going to colour in the remaining areas and whilst we're doing that we're going to blend it in to the lighter pink and you can add some white onto your paintbrush to help blend it in together. You can also get some red and put red on the darker areas, so next to her eye and just under the head. We'll take a pause there. We're going to continue this process and get our different shades of pink and place it on the flamingo's neck. So there's going to be some light areas and some dark areas. And we're going to blend everything together and create these nice different shades of pink. So it's not just one solid colour, it's nicely different colours and tones and then we're going to do the same thing on the body as well. On the body we've got quite unblended strokes, it's very thick, it's very, um, it's really defined on the feathers on the body. We'll pause there. If you've been to my animal painting classes before, you might know that I go on about layers a lot. We're going to do the exact same thing all over again, but this time, instead of blending loads, we're going to leave these nice little brush strokes on the feathers to make feathers on the neck. And then we'll also get that light pink and put it on the beak. We'll go in again with our red, put some nice reds back in there our whites back in there and just make it really texturized see how you can see those feathers coming up and we'll take a pause now we are going to get our black and we're going to color in that beak you also have a little line on the beak and that's where the flamingo's nose is we're going to color that all in nicely and it might even be a little bit jagged as well. See? And then we'll do the eye, so we'll colour that yellow, and we'll get our black and we'll draw around it and make a little iris. And we'll take a nice little pause here. Now it's time to mix up our turquoise. So we'll get our white, our blue and a tiny bit of yellow. 
or mix that together and that'll create your beautiful turquoise. We're then going to spend some time colouring in the background and making sure we don't go over our flamingo. You can, you know, add more texture and different shades of blue, maybe even some green into there. It's up to you. So I'll give you guys quite a bit of time to get this bit done. We'll take a pause here. Okay, congratulations everyone. I hope you had fun painting this flamingo tutorial and the last online class. I will be with you teaching in person from next week. So yeah, I'll be arriving tomorrow night. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.